News at four. In the age of social media, it is so easy for misinformation to be spread about anything, including the war in Palestine. That's why two local Muslim organizations are holding an open house this weekend, giving the community an opportunity to learn more about their Islamic faith and Muslim neighborhoods. Gain Peace Director Dr. Is it Sabil? Sabil. All right, I didn't do too bad. Uh, Sabil Ahmed is here to join us to learn more. When you think about sharing what you want folks to know, and this is going to be at Al Noor Mosque on Saturday, March 2nd, 11 a.m. to 3, mm -hmm. what most do you want them to get out of this day when they come? First and foremost, uh, people, they may not may have met any Muslim or have been to a mosque, so they may have this fear of the unknown. So that may create hate and bias and discrimination. So when people, when they come together, they may feel, you know what, Muslims are Americans, just like us. Their faith is good compared to what sometimes the media is portraying. So we want them to change the perception from being negative or neutral to being positive. And it's okay not to know things. Like when I came in, my, and I'm just going to tell you, when I came in, my immediate reaction was to shake his hand. Yes, you did like this. I did like this. And I did like this. And <laughs> he did like this. And he said, this, this is what we do. And I said, thank you for teaching me. Respect to you and respect to my wife. <laughs> uh, see, and I did not know that. So it's okay that we don't know, right? We get to learn from each other. And so you will teach us. You have things like this, this the information. Yes, so tomorrow we are going to give opportunity for every person to learn about Islam and also to ask any question that they may have. For example, people may not know that Muslims are living here in the USA for five centuries. The first nation to recognize USA's independence was a Muslim nation. Do you know which one? No, sir. Morocco. Okay. Yes. So Muslims are living here as our neighbors, as our colleagues, as our classmates, you know, making America a wonderful country. People may not know that, so we are going to share that. Some people may have a misinformation about women in Islam. So we want to educate to them that uh, women have wonderful rights that Islam has given to them. Uh, the right to say, a, the right to have a say in the political process, the right not to be forced into marriage, the right to inherit, the right to own property. The rights that we take granted in this country, Islam gave those rights in the seventh century. So these are some of the misinformation people may have. So we want to educate them. At the end of the day, we want people to know that Islam is not a threat. Islam is a blessing to America and to humanity. So when we come, is, it, uh, is there anything that we need to come again, to do? It's going to be Saturday, again, March 2nd, 11 a.m. to 3. Do we come as we are, or is there something we need to know? Come with as you are, with your families, you know, bring your youth, your elders, your parents, anyone else. Just dress modestly because you're coming to a place of worship. There would be activities for children, for women, for adults. Arabic calligraphy, right? Get your name written in Arabic uh, language. There would be henna? There would be henna, yes. You can come and uh, put really exotic henna on your hands. And there would be face painting for the children and um, delicious food also. I know there will be delicious food. I've had yes. some. It's just wonderful. Right. Again, it's going to be March 2nd from 11 a.m. to 3. They invite you to come. And again, they say just dress modestly because you are at a place of worship. It's at 2815 South 4th Street, Al Noor Mosque. You are welcome to come. And again, I know you have the Quran with you. Yes. And, and, and they'll share that with you too. And I told them, I wish we had more time, but we don't. Uh, March 2nd, 11 to 3. Please come, learn, and know that we can all be together. That is the blessing. We'll take a quick break for Wave News at 4.